and kind of little ways that you can discover more of who you are and if you're not sure what your purpose is, how to find it or at least get on the path to finding it. And first I wanted to define how I see purpose and I see it as something that calls to you, that excites you, something that gives you energy when you do it or think about it and basically ties into what you have to offer life. So kind of your contribution to the world but also something that fuels you and calls you. I think it's important to see too that no matter if you already know what you're here for or you're wanting to know purposes, they evolve and they change as we live. You might have many all at once as they relate to different aspects of your life and character and kind of little daily purposes and then maybe like an overarching theme to your life or what you feel like you're here to express and experience and enjoy and no matter what there's really no pressure at all. A lot of people think like your purpose was given by kind of a higher power and they have to discover it but I really believe that we get to define our purpose and we get to create it based on what we love based on what fuels us and change it as you like if it starts to kind of not suit you anymore or not feel quite right then you get to create something new a new path and direction and I think that really is the value that having purpose gives is direction and clarity so that you can move forward towards something and create something and get to experience that journey along the way all right so in no particular order first question or the first I guess prompt is to make a list of things you enjoy doing literally anything like getting home and watching Netflix is allowed to be on this list. Um, for me, when I start to write down and think about what I really, truly, actually enjoy doing and do more of it, that was life-changing. Because you start to realize life's just made up of little moments. The more you can spend doing what feels good and what you enjoy, the more enjoyable life is. If you're having trouble, you can use prompts like, what do you look forward to? What do you, what feels easy when you do it? What do you do and then come away with more energy? And I think these things can be your clearest, depending on what your list looks like, can be one of your clearest indications of what your purpose is. And even if they don't amount to anything specific, when you do more of the things that make you happy, you literally become happier. And when you're in a happy state, you're adding those good vibes into the world. Like everyone you interact with is gonna be left better. I don't think there's any greater purpose than that, than just adding a little more light, a little more happiness, and a little more you into the world. And the second prompt is to make a list of people who inspire you. So write down their names. Who are they? What do they do? And more importantly, what qualities do they express? What are their core qualities or what do you find most inspiring about who they are and what they do? And what I think is important about this is that we're all mirrors to each other. And often the qualities that we most admire in others and appreciate in others are ones that are laying just below the surface in ourselves and are ready to be expressed. So if you think, oh, that person is so hardworking or they're so passionate, that's kind of showing your life is calling passion from you, is either already being expressed by you or is ready to be. And the third thing is to make a list of three core desired feelings. What kinds of feelings do you want to experience on a daily basis or just more of in your life? Things like, I want to feel radiant. I want to feel excited when I wake up in the morning to begin my day. I want to feel incredibly blessed with the life I have. So just list feelings that you want to experience more of. Because it's important to note that no matter what we want, purpose-wise, life-wise, material, item wise we want it because of the feeling we think it's going to give us but you can actually bring that feeling into your here and now and thereby harmonize with the thing you want too so if you want more purpose in your life or if you want a purpose find a way to bring that feeling of purposefulness to your daily actions so if you're making dinner for your family you can think i'm helping to nourish their bodies give them the energy so that they can go forth and thrive or at work, you know, when you smile at people or ask them how their day's going, you can bring purpose to that by thinking, I have the opportunity here to change someone's day for the better. I can smile, I can send them love, I can wish them well. So you can definitely add more purpose to the actions that you're already doing. And when you do that, that's just gonna expand even more in your life and 
bring more clarity and more definition. Alright, so once you have all these things written down, you can kind of look at them and even if it seems kind of like a jumble, just take them as like clues and little pieces that can teach you more about who you are and a direction that would add a lot of meaning and joy to your life. Even if you're still unsure of what your core purpose is, just keep moving in the direction of these activities and ideas and qualities that feel expansive and exciting and joyful to you. And I guarantee that along the way, as you continue to do that, you will find more purpose, more meaning, and more importantly, more joy in your life. And I think a joyful life is the most genuine and purposeful life we could live and offer each other. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Sending love to you all. Bye.